Deer season is pretty much over. Cabin fever is already starting to set in and I need to do something quick before that cabin fever turns into a just full on post deer season depression. Now I could just go ahead and start on my off season projects to make my season, my turkey season and my deer season better for this year. But what do you think is better for curing that, that post deer season depression? Work or more hunting? Now, some of you people are probably going to be like, of work, of course, but for the rest of us normal people, it's definitely going to be more hunting. Now, while you can't hunt deer, there are a few other things that are still open up until the end of the month. Now, make sure you check your local regulations just in case. I'm sure there's somebody that's going to be like, you can't hunt anything right now, and they'd be in Kansas. I'm talking about Missouri. Um, I'm sure most of the Midwest states still have something open. Just check your eggs just to be safe. What I'm talking about doing is squirrel hunting. And it used to be that squirrel hunting was the first thing that you started out hunting. It was like a rite of passage for you to move on to turkey and deer. Now it's not uncommon. Actually, I'd say it's probably most common for people to jump straight into deer and turkey. And if you don't have any family members that squirrel hunt or any friends that do it, you're more likely not to ever try it, but you're missing out. Squirrel hunting is a lot of fun. It's also very frustrating and it can taste amazing if it's cooked right. So in this video, we're gonna go over four tips to getting into squirrel hunting. It can be a lot trickier than you'd think. But before we get into the tips, do me a favor and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Also, I'm gonna leave a link down below to my Teespring store in case you're interested in checking out some shirts. And the first tip to getting into squirrel hunting is you gotta learn a little bit about them. Squirrels out in the woods that you're gonna be hunting are nothing like the squirrels you see in your backyards. They want absolutely nothing to do with people. If they see you or hear you, they're gonna run away. Most likely they're gonna go way up in a tree where you have little chance of getting a shot. Or he'll head down into a hollow tree and you're just gonna have to move on. Or sit there and wait him out for a probably a long time. If you act like you're hunting deer, you'll probably have a lot more success. You'll be surprised at how well squirrels can hear. Anything from rustling leaves, especially the snapping of a twig, they're gonna key in on that. They actually don't see all that well, so you can kind of get away with a little less camo. Blue jeans will be fine. Uh, just your normal hunting gear is obviously fine. You definitely don't need 3D camo. I mean, I guess, unless you just really wanna wear it. Um, stay away from bright colors, though. But depending on your state regulations, you might have to wear that hunter orange. So make sure you check that out just so you're safe. It's not worth getting shot over. Squirrels eat nuts. Uh, so look for oak trees, walnuts, uh, pecan trees, beech trees, just whatever has a nut, these squirrels are going to eat it. Just like anything else, if you find what they eat, you're going to find them. Do some scouting beforehand so you know where these good areas are. And the second tip for hunting squirrels is look for some dens. As the winter goes on, which I guess technically is now, you'll notice that you'll start seeing fewer and fewer squirrels. Unless you're deer hunting, then you're going to see squirrels all over the place. During these slow times, what you want to look for is their dens. That's hollowed out trees or trees that's got big holes in them where squirrels would like to make their nests. Also, you can see in trees where it looks like a big, it kind of looks like a bird's nest, but it looks more more like a basketball. That's a squirrel's den if it's not inside of a tree. Keep a watch on those and you might be able to see a squirrel poke his head out here and there. The drawback to this is that if you do shoot a squirrel, sometimes they fall back into it and then you can't recover it. So it's kind of a high risk shot. I don't really advise it unless you know you can get to it. But other than that, knowing where these dens are or these nests, these basketball shaped things up in trees, that will let you know where you need to key in on. And if you set up on them in the early morning or the late evenings, you can see them kind of moving around to and from these spots. They may not move far. They might go down a tree and back up or jump to another one, but at least you'll know where they might come from or go to. During these slow times, patience is definitely the key. Just like anything, any kind of hunting, and fishing, anything really with the outdoors seems to require a lot of patience. It's like nature's trying to teach you something. This third tip is especially important for somebody who is really brand new to hunting at all, and that is use a shotgun. While a lot of people might say they can hit a quarter from 100 yards without a rest, most of them are probably lying. And if they're not, well, good for them. But for the vast majority of people, especially somebody brand new to hunting in general, especially hunting squirrels, 
you might want to use a shotgun. It's a higher percentage chance of getting that squirrel than it is trying to hit it with a 22. The point is to really know your limitations. If you know you're not that accurate of a shot or you know your 22 just really isn't that accurate, and let's face it, there are some more accurate models than others, you might just want to either stick to a lot closer shots or just grab a shotgun. Anything from a 12 gauge down to a 410 will work. Just keep in mind that, you know, a 410 is going to have a lot shorter range than a 12 gauge, but a 12 gauge is probably going to put a lot more shot in that meat. So there's always that trade off. And if you use that shotgun, make sure you either carefully pick that shot out of that meat or you chew very carefully and slowly. This is especially important if you plan on sharing that meat. There's nothing worse than finding out the hard way and it's probably followed up by a trip to the dentist. And if it were me that broke a tooth on your meat, I'd be sending you the bill. And the fourth tip to squirrel hunting, some might consider is the most important and that's you just gotta take it slow. If you think of squirrel hunting as just taking a stroll through the woods, most likely that's just gonna, what it's gonna end up being. You're just gonna be walking through the woods and not seeing any squirrels. You may see one or two and maybe actually even shoot one, but you're gonna have a lot more success if you treat it like it's a hunting trip. Like I said earlier, pretend you're deer hunting. There are two ways you can really hunt squirrels. You can just sit down uh, around kind of a high percentage area, you know, around some of those nut bearing trees or a spot that you've seen some dens, wait it out a little while, you don't see nothing, and you move on to the next. Or you can kind of spot and stalk. If you spot and stalk, Take a few steps, stop, scan the trees, listen for, listen for branches shaking or especially that scratching sound of squirrels chewing on something. Also look for trees that have big branches coming off the main trunk. Especially, you know, sitting like this, a lot of times there's a squirrel sitting right here. Make sure you scan each one of those carefully because they do blend in very well. So that was four tips to getting into squirrel hunting. If you have any more tips, make sure you leave those down in the comments below. Squirrel hunting is kind of dying off and i think the only way to really bring that back is through stuff like this so definitely if you have more tips be sure to leave them down below it helps people tremendously hit that like button if you like this video share it if you found it helpful and make sure you are subscribed so you can stay informed